Hey, what's up, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is a yoga. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my energy for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and you know how this go. But of course, I always gotta drop my disclaimer for those of you in the back, okay? Now, make sure you flip the roses as you see fit. Please use the spirit of discernment. Take only what you need and leave the rest. These are collective readings, okay? I am a Virgo son as well, you guys, okay? But however, um, cross watches, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you, okay? Now, let me set my intentions before I get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective Virgo reading. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine as well. I thank you for using me as the messenger, and I ask that these messages serve the highest good of my collective, and so it is. All right, y'all, so... <laughs> Let's see what the energy is like for you. Action in reverse, daughter romance in the upright position. All right, so this is either you or somebody you're connected to. But however, someone isn't taking any action here when it comes to this new beginning in love, right? Action reverse, daughter romance, upright position. Okay, so show me what I need to see. Uh -uh. Contract in the reverse. Ooh. So you may feel like it's some type of delay or it may not happen, okay, with this with this particular person, all right? And so now it's like, all right, I need to step back. I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, move forward here. And that's when I'm going to find out why, okay? Tell me about the action card in the reverse. Mm-hmm. The King of Pentacles, I've just seen that come out, um, but it didn't come all the way out. It was in the reverse. So basically, the King of Pentacles usually doesn't offer anything serious. Um, usually do things for their own personal gain, you know, whatever that may be. And um, <clears throat> I got a Queen of Wands in the reverse position. All right, Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This is weird. So it's something going on, all right, between you or this person but it's involving two other people it's two other feminine energies coming through okay and with this queen of wands and in reverse they may be either being demanding um revengeful jealous whatever that energy is it's like yeah that versus the queen of pentacles whoo, with the ace of wands and the river in the middle so it's some type of um something going on so I'm going to figure out what that is. We're going to see what this Ace of Wands in the reverse is about. Hmm. It may have been something short term. And this is why. This could be it. This could be the reason why it's like, mm, this is short term. Um, This is short term. Maybe I need to step back. You know, maybe I may not need to keep pursuing this. Okay. So let me see something here. Tell me about this Ace of Wands in the reverse position. There was an ending. This Ten of Swords keeps wanting to come out. All right. So something may have ended. Um, it could have hurt. Definitely. I'm definitely feeling a sense of, you know, something definitely could have hurt. Show me more. about this tennis awards oh i don't know what's going on with my fingers and these cards okay all right so what i'm seeing here high priestess reverse king of wands reverse knight of cups reverse energy and what i see is that somebody was definitely either blocked in their intuition at first about this person um or about you or or some type of manipulation or something was hitting that could have been happening that you just couldn't see, all right, overall. And what I'm seeing is like you may could, couldn't see that this person really wasn't coming in to, to offer anything serious, right? Wasn't really coming in to offer any love. Um, the Knight of Cups, again, with that Knight of Wands in the reverse, is just like, yeah, it can cause a lot of disappointment here because um, usually anyway, it's like they may come in and out, right? Knights have that a lot of that in and out energy um, is what I'm picking up so overall it's like maybe you couldn't have seen it at first and was taking some type of action here thinking okay we can actually have a connection here but mm -mm, it is is now you're realizing here that it's two people yeah nine of cups in the upright position it's it's um another person i said two people may and i feel like somebody may have just really found out okay that it's definitely 
um, a third party type situation or or something here. You could have found out this Virgo or they could have found out here that somebody that they're connected to is um, involved in some type of situation here. All right, so where it could have been like nine of cups, this is like, okay, this situation definitely could make me happy. I, could, I, I definitely feel like this could be my wish fulfillment. All right, so tell me more about the high priestess in the reverse position. But something was found out, yeah. The uh, four of swords comes out upright position. Whatever it is, it's like, you may have felt very anxious here about it, or they may have felt very anxious about it um, overall because it's like the behavior is not matching, right? That's what I'm hearing. Okay, strength card comes out. Something gave you the carriage here, though. Okay, show me what I need to see. Don't forget, flip the rose, y'all. This ain't your energy. Something gave you the carriage here, though, to move forward because I just got the um, uh, strength card next to the six of swords. What was that? What gave my collective the courage here to move forward? Whew, I'm far. All right. You were made aware of something or they were made aware of something here with the four cups in the reverse, okay? Something became clear. You know how you become awakened to something after you just, you know, you you may have became, you know, like whatever could have been happening. It's like, you know, I'm over it. I'm over it. Like things are, you know, it's causing me anxiety. There's confusion. This may not even happen. It's like the door seems to be open, but it still may not even happen. Um, And something I see a cell phone here. So something could have been uh revealed through that means. OK text message or watching something on um youtube is what i just heard tell me about the four cups in the reverse position mm -hmm. you may have realized here that somebody was giving to you that your person here or you was giving to someone else all right so mm. I'm definitely I'm definitely hearing like oh okay this person is a very generous lover okay they coming out as a king of wands in the reverse so that's somebody who's non-committal right they're they're that's that playboy energy then look the ace of swords comes out yep something was made clear you started to gain some clarity about something here but check this out again remember this is that breakthrough it's like when you when when things became become clear sometimes we look at it like Damn, we disappointed, right? But nah, it's actually a breakthrough to help get things moving because you were stuck at a crossroads or they were stuck at some type of crossroads here with making a decision. And of course she got swords out. So something, a decision has to be made. Something has to be cut, right? And overall, that's what, whoa, tell me about, hold on, let me just, yeah, look at this. It was like your situation literally it seemed to be a competitive environment that's why i'm seeing it with the seven of wands in the reverse so it could definitely be other people involved um and at this point when i see that seven of wands in the reverse it's just one of those things now and it's like you know what i may have to you know not do anything with this i'm i'm, I'm about to fold on this situation because what i thought was going to be a new beginning this person end up being a king of pentacles in reverse. They ended up not going to be offering anything serious. You understand? It's like they're not going to be a good provider. And they can't offer you anything emotionally um, and secure or anything long term here. Right? This is why this contract card is in a reverse too as well. So I'm going to pull some more energy off of that. This is weird. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like, what is this? This is weird energy. Um... And I know as we go through different stages here, it's not going to always be my energy. <laughs> it definitely could be someone I'm connected to, too, as well. But, of course, a lot of times you guys are my collective. So uh, a lot of stuff comes through to you. We're, we're literally on the same timeline or I'm like usually two or three steps ahead of y'all. All right. Because remember, I'm the, I'm the messenger. I'm the teacher. So I'm guiding you just off of my experiences. So yeah, that's why I say, mm, this is weird. Like, I don't even know where this, where this is coming from. Cause that's on like, look, maybe this is something unforeseen to me right now, but however, let's see. Tell me about the, um, contract card here in the reverse. 
Tell me about the contract card in the reverse. This seemed like something here, again, where it seemed like you always got to keep fighting for. You know, it's like fighting for this person's attention, fighting for time, fighting for commitment, fighting for whatever it is, nine of wands that you may be fighting for to get from this person with the Knight of Pentacles energy upright. They take, they move slow. It's like, yeah, they're not moving quickly with it. They're not quick to make a decision. They're not quick here to offer anything, in, nothing. And you could be focused here on, you know, the spilled cups, basically the loss. You know how sometimes you just grieve over like, ah, I, I didn't waste the time. I didn't did this. I didn't do did that. Whatever that may be. Um, don't do that. Because what I'm what I'm saying is like the universe is abundant as hell. Okay. And when you let go of what no longer serves you, which could be an emotion or energy or feelings, whatever that may be, it's always going to be a new door that's going to open. Okay, so don't think that, you know, this is the end all be all is what I'm hearing. Um, continue to stand tall, continue to stay resilient because there's always going to be some type of adversity. But the whole goal is to recover and to heal. Okay, um, I even got the King of Swords that's peeking through here. So you may not really, that could be, you know, their energy or could be your energy. And I feel like it could be their energy. It's just like, it's just like maybe you may feel like they're manipulating you. They manipulated you. That's what it could be. You may feel like they manipulated you. Or they were lacking some type of structure here when it came to, you know, having any type of um hmm. Any type of situation here. Okay. So mm, tell me more about that. That's interesting. I feel like, yeah, that could be what it is. Yep, page of pentacles in the reverse. Show me more. One more card for me, you guys, and then I'm going to show it to you. Ten of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups, reverse. Ten of Cups, reverse. Wow. Wow. So, what I'm seeing is like, Whatever the goal may have been that you were trying to manifest, it's like you could probably definitely see this as long term. You may have thought this could have been long term or you just may have thought like, oh, snap, this is like this is cool. Like this is a romantic relationship. This is something here that, you know, I could be committed to. This is something here I feel like that makes me happy or uh, however. And this person may either be disconnected um and really struggling to communicate or however or you could have been struggling to communicate something here but i just feel like you know somewhere the values weren't aligned okay whatever it is that you definitely were trying to manifest here it's like yeah it wasn't the same the values weren't aligned you could have been been exploring here this idea of doing it they or they could have been exploring the idea of doing it but not really ready to manifest it just as of yet why because it just definitely seems like it's some other stuff going on here okay so i'm gonna pull i'm gonna pull some more cards here because i need to get some definitive answers come on spirit team what's this Ooh. it's a message of concern and a thief that came out mm. So a message could have came through again, a text message, a phone call, whatever it could be, right? I definitely feel like you could sense that there was some type of dishonesty um, or injustice being done, right? Or I'm gonna pull Tarot because you know I can be I can be calling it out all day long, like bam, bam, bam. Then it just could be what it is. A thief card comes out, message of concern in the upright position next to the journey card. Okay, so. Mm. And whatever the message is, it's like, that may be it right there where you just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and pack my bags and get the fuck up out of here. Wow. Tell me about the thief card. Queen of Swords reversed. So some words could have been said not so nice words 
Look, not some nice words. Because the Queen of Swords can say some, I mean, talk their shit. Okay. Woo. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What I just heard is like, I feel like somebody feels like they've been robbed of their, um, new of, of their new beginning or things getting better or or something whatever it is it could definitely have triggered you or this person okay or whoever's connected to you, your person person however it goes for you in your story i don't know who the hell energy i'm pulling in right now but however it, it definitely was something here that was triggering okay so with my queen of swords reverse again i don't know if i showed y'all the death card in the reverse next to this will of fortune Show me what I need to see here. It's like, did this you feel like this person may have robbed you of time? Wasted your time? Tell me about the death in the universe. Mm-hmm. Because you may have been looking at this situation here as something you were going to commit to. Or you may have thought that they were going to commit or were in alignment with you and working with you. Okay. And it tri it's triggering. Whatever it is, it's like it's triggering you. And you definitely probably like uh, step back a little bit into that. You look your old self. Let's just put it that way. All right. With the higher font card coming out. The Eight of Pentacles in the upright, the Star card, and the Six of Cups in the reverse, okay? Because, um, yeah, I definitely feel like you are on some type of spiritual journey here. You are um, going through so, so many different transformations is what I'm seeing, okay? And whatever happened here in this situation where you thought, bam, things are going to get better. You know, my situation is going to shift. Boom something happens message comes in phone call whatever that form of communication is tell me about this message of concern card Ooh. yep page some type of message all right so page of page of pinnacles upright it was something here yeah that you decided or that they may have decided you know what you know how you you finally get the motivation to to speak on it here. It's still a page, so I feel like the energy that when it came through was still not really formulated. It wasn't really no for real plan, but it's just all that feeling of you know what all I need all I know is I need to say this. Okay, I need to say this. I need to get this message across. You may have wanted to say it before, but you weren't ready because it was like either you were worried like how will I be able to get this to go across. Or what okay but um this time it, it's like it came out it came it came out so that began the process of something yep i just seen the devil card that didn't come all the way out okay so whatever that may be is it, definitely triggered you is what i'm seeing especially because of the energy that this person is moving in um with this knight of pentacles okay or you may realize here like oh shit this may be my karmic, <laughs> you understand? Like, oh shit, like this may not be my person. Or, you know, after everything is transpiring, it's like, okay. Four of Wands in the reverse position. It's like, wait, what I'm trying to build or what I thought I was gonna be able to build, it's not gonna happen. All right, tell me about this, tell me more. So you may definitely feel a little burdened by this and, and you're not speaking about it. You're keeping it to yourself for the most part. It's like, here you go. And then I got the Ten of Cups in the reverse again. So you may be feeling really disconnected here because of whatever was communicated. Okay. So some voices definitely could have gotten elevated during the conversation if you did speak with this person. If you haven't got to that point yet, it could get to that point. As y'all can hear, my goddamn son voice is like going up loud right now. So I definitely am picking up on that energy of, yes, it may have gotten a little heated. That Queen of Swords in the reverse definitely can say, can can speak some shit. Y'all, Page of Pentacles keeps coming out. Is there anything else about the message here, my spirit team? Mm -hmm. So with the nine of swords coming in the reverse position here, 
with the Knight of Cups, reverse, the Moon card, the Six of Swords. Okay, so I really feel like somebody here decided, you know what? Let me get out of this anxious state here because, hold on, my battery started dying on me, y'all. Let me get out of this anxious state here because here with this Knight of Cups reverse position, you realize in here that this 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 person here or however this is going is not going to make a certain decision. So at first, maybe you could have been very emotional about it. Okay. But a lot of things have, it's been made clear. The moon is in a reverse. Like what was hidden is not hidden anymore. Okay. It's out there. So with the six of swords, now what? It's time to leave behind what's familiar and move forward, right? So tell me about the journey card. And that's what I feel like that energy is, is what I'm pulling from that journey card. But somebody, however, whoever this is in this story here that my spirit team has given us has closed out some type of cycle here in their life, okay? So that's the good thing about it. Um, Six of Wands comes out in the reverse position. So, if you're not feeling supported, I don't want I don't want you to feel like. You know, sometimes you can feel like oh, I'm not being supported. This is situation is not happening the way I want. It's like don't don't fall into any type of self pity because you've done with the Queen of Pentacles upright, man. You've done what you could do literally you were being you and that's all that matters okay you you were being you you are abundant you were being generous you were being nice or you are as this queen of pentacles here coming out you just you know being a good balance here okay for this person so at the end of the day i still feel like you are being rewarded you have to change your perspective and here with the ten of wands in the reverse yeah again you may feel like this is a heavy weight on your shoulder or you may feel burdened by this situation now but what i keep hearing is just stay focused here overall here on your own evolution because again this is about your healing as i always speak about throughout the readings virgo okay so i i feel like a lot of stuff has been coming to the light even when i did my um collective reading earlier today that reading, yeah, the double energies are being released. The karmic connections, the codependent relationships, the unhealthy contracts. It's just like this point where it's time for you to stand in your power, your independence, and all, and release the things that no longer serve you. But however, like what I spoke in my reading earlier, a lot of this is happening because it's a part of your spiritual experience, right? You got to go through certain lessons here in order to grow. So the overall message from that one if you didn't catch it was grow within this situation okay um this is why it had why it happened or why it's happening okay so even with that message earlier it seems like it was it was explaining it's like my spirit team was explaining here why you're going through what you're going through okay so let me pull from my um angels and ancestors oracle deck and see what's good what's good in the hood over here Thank you. <coughs> the message you have for work in regards to this. Shift your perspective. I'm sorry, I said perspective. <laughs> All right, shift your um, perception. Okay, take time to reflect. I take time to look in the mirror because if you're being triggered again you're being triggered because you're being triggered to heal an aspect of yourself that you may not have been facing all right so this is the opportunity for you to literally shift your perspective about what's happening in your story right grow within this situation now and look this is the air guardian um it says change the way you think and you will change your whole reality when this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn about your way of thinking. You're being guided to recognize that not all you see is exactly the way you see it. Sometimes the mind can play games and sometimes our perception can be wrong. 
If you are being challenged or feel that there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at this moment, there's a good chance the way you're thinking or what you're focusing on has a lot to do with that reality. You're being guided to open your eyes and your mind. Go beyond any limits you have set for yourself and recognize the way you see the world is how you will experience the world. Opportunities are moving in your direction, but they will only open up for you if you are ready to do the internal work to support them. And this is what this is about. Everything that has happened to you or is happening to you is so that you will be able to shift your perception of how you're seeing this. This gives you the opportunity to go within, right? With that mirror guardian. So I'm going to read that. To go within and really examine here what the problem is. I mean, on a deeper level. It's not just about this person here in your life. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and your challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to know all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed, and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want you to reflect on your strengths, in particular, those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. Offer yourself approval where it is due and know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. All right. So you hear that record? This is look. This is over all uh, across the board. It's time to give back to you. It's time to work on your own healing and to really release these things from your energy. Okay. Because the door is open here now, and what I'm hearing is like, it's not just open to love, it's open to other opportunities as well. Okay, so I want to pull from this one last deck and then I'll close out. Dragonfly, so be lighthearted because it's going, it's like I said, it's like if you ain't find out some information already, you're gonna find out. Okay, but when you find out. My spirit team is saying, hey, be lighthearted about it, okay? Because it's going to be a lot of things that's going to come to the light. But this is going to help you because it's going to push you to shift your perspective to face the mirror, okay, by whatever it is that's triggering you so that you can continue to heal, all right? Again, this is about you becoming the stage of your life is what I'm hearing. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. This is about you adapt adapting changing healing mm -hmm. have faith because love is coming with cupid's arrow you can have a surprise invitation or even a surprise meeting here okay you may feel hesitant because of everything that's happening in your story um but overall here have faith okay palm tree stability all right yep so this is what it's about it's about your stability at the end of the day it's about you feeling secure it's about your growth okay and a heart with a key so welcome love in because you're going to be meeting the one open your heart okay you're going to be meeting the one this i feel like this was the catalyst here whatever may have happened between you and this person was the catalyst to open the door for cupid to actually really send in your person all right so definitely try to find the silver lining in your story is what i just heard show me more here look pay another page so it was like a lot of communication that has taken place here but it was very insightful it could have been very blunt <laughs> a very intellectual intellectually challenging conversation is what i'm hearing it's that information that you need, but it's challenging to receive it. But it it, it it happened, right? It was supposed to happen. So a lot of air sign energy floating through this reading. Yep, this was an awakening for you. Okay, with the page of cups coming out in the upright. Well, I don't know what the hell that is, y'all. I say a number one on there. That joint like a one of water. I don't know. 
<laughs> what it is and then she holds the cup but however this was like an awakening for you especially when it comes to your own spiritual insight okay um take this time here with the nine of pentacles it's like you may be this nine of pentacles person you may be single you may be able to buy your own shit do your own thing oh confident you know what i'm saying just this is what you're working on right now really so really build your self-sufficiency your happiness your success in all this is what it's about <laughs> even on the card it says enjoy your solitude take this time right now to build you enjoy your solitude enjoy the fruits of your labor right your hard work is leading you to a luxurious life you're going to get the victory period especially when you make wise choices for your life yeah this was an awakening either for you or for um whoever this is that's connected to you so take some time to pause for a, mi a minute to reflect okay but however this was an awakening where you see things in a whole new light wow wow guess what and especially if you act in your integrity and if you continue to learn from what is happening here, you're going to get this windfall of abundance, literally, okay? Somebody could even be speaking to you, offering you wise counsel. Maybe I'm that person, all right? But however, whatever's happening here, it's, you're going to be able to experience here the universe bringing you in new things. Why? Because... You're learning, you're growing, you're releasing. So you let the universe know like, hey, I'm open to receiving something new. I'm open to more opportunities to come into me. Okay, so be on the look, be on the lookout. It could be with like a career opportunity, contract, a significant purchase. It could be like a home or a vehicle. Um, whatever it is, it's good, it's good fortune. So that's all that matter. That's what you need to stay focused on, okay? Bringing all of that good fortune from your vortex into this reality, y'all. So I'm going to get ready to go. I'm not going to hold you guys. I love you and I thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Peace.